for the VC Veterans Memorial Wall and Truth Bench Unveiling Ceremony held on VE Day. VE Day, or Victory in Europe Day, is dedicated to the, to the official end of the Second World War. The day celebrates the formal acceptance by the Allies during World War II of the enemy's unconditional surrender of armed forces on 8th of May 1945. Millions of people rejoiced the news of the surrender and took to the streets in celebration with parties, singing and dancing. Churchill gave a rousing speech to the nation and part of the speech was as follows. God bless you all. This is your victory. It is the victory of the cause of freedom in every land in all our long history. We have never seen a greater day than this. Everyone, man or woman, has done their best. Everyone has tried. Neither the long years, nor the dangers, nor the fierce attacks of the enemy have in any way weakened the independent resolve of the British nation. God bless you all. And for this, we will always remember. As part of this remembrance, we will be unveiling of our memorial truce bench and the unveiling of a memorial wall to which many to thank not only for arranging this but all of the sponsors of the plaque. To all involved, thank you. I would now like to hand over to Chaplain Derek Grant and Reverend Phil Patterson to say a few words. Thank you. Good morning. We have gathered here today to honour the sacrifice of those who fought to secure our freedoms. Especially today we remember those who served and secured victory in Europe at the end of World War II. We think of every stage of that conflict, from Dunkirk to Normandy to Arnhem to Anzio to Cassino and on to Berlin. We remember those who never came home, those who were wounded, those who struggled to recover from their experiences, those who became prisoners of war and the burden carried by families and loved ones that fought for our freedom. In doing this today, we do not glory in war, but rather pray for peace, that such sacrifice in the cause of freedom may never be necessary again. Those who look to the Lord will win new strength. They will soar as on eagles' wings. They will run and not feel faint, march on and not grow weary. Let us pray. Lord God, we remember this day with your kindness and your grace that was upon us in our time of need, how you raised up men and women of courage and devotion to duty in a previous generation to give of themselves, to sacrifice for our freedom, many to give their lives in service of this country. We remember those who have been wounded in fights recent and past. We remember those who have fallen in battle and pray for their families and loved ones. We remember especially those who were known to us, those whom we lost in our families, in our circles, in our regiments. We remember and give thanks for those who have come back, some who are here today, who remember that momentous day, VE Day, 1945. We pray too for those who were once our enemies, those whose lives were blighted by the tyranny of evil. And as we remember today, we also forgive that peace may rule in our hearts and in our nation. As we remember the past, may we strive always to establish peace, justice and freedom for our world and our nation. That your name may be glorified and those who have sacrificed in the past be honoured. This we pray in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. 
Amen. They shall grow not old as we that have left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them.
when you go home, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow we give our today. Let us pray. Heavenly Father and God of all grace, mercy, compassion, and love, we acknowledge you as our sovereign Lord. We thank you, O Lord, that you have raised us up in our nation. You have raised men up in the past, men and women of courage. They served their country during great difficulty. We think of King George VI, who called the nation to prayer at places of worship across the country, many describing miracles happen, happening during World War II. Therefore, as we gather this day to remember those who have made the ultimate sacrifice, may our thoughts and thanksgiving be directed to you, our God. The fact you have never failed us in times of trial, even in the most difficult of times, you did not forsake us. Forgive us, O oh God, for our many weaknesses, doubts and failings, we know that our sin is ever before us and that only you have the power to forgive sin. 
God of all mercy, save us and present us faultless before your throne of grace. Bless us this day in this act of worship as we remember our past. We may also be encouraged to strive and serve you with greater zeal and passion and faith for the future. And may your great name be glorified, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, both now and forevermore. Amen. We gather here to mark the end of a conflict in Europe, to mark peace, but we do so as war again rages in Europe. As we remember those who died in the past, let us not forget those who are making the sacrifice now. And now may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all forevermore. Amen.